Hey, Dustin Tibbetts here, financial advisor with Jazz Wealth Managers. How's it going today? Well, today I want to talk to you about four things that you absolutely just never do with your money. Well, look, at Jazz Wealth, we're not just financial advisors. We don't just manage your retirement investments. We actually help you with your finances, your personal finances, anything, debt, investments, credit, you name it. We help you with that as part of our service. Well, I've heard a lot of mistakes from you guys along the way, and I've helped people avoid many mistakes. And today I just want to share that with everybody that happens to be watching. Four of the most common mistakes, and you just absolutely can't do this with your money. I'm going to tell you why. The first thing is don't invest in things that you don't understand. It's so easy to do that when everybody's excited about one thing. Bitcoin is a big one right now. Do you actually understand how Bitcoin works? If not, ask an advisor. Ask the person managing your money if that's a worthwhile investment. Index funds are another one. Most people don't know exactly what an index fund is. So if you don't know, be sure to get help or find out exactly how things work before you invest in something. Another one that I get all the time is the 25% growth mutual funds, 25% global funds, 25%, 25%. I think you know where I'm going with this. Just because someone gave you that general advice doesn't mean that's the best investment path for you. Speak with an advisor, speak with someone that's willing to help you, and find out exactly how you should be invested. So tip number one, don't invest in things you don't understand. The second money mistake that you absolutely have to avoid here is don't co-sign a loan or credit for your kids or your family. Here's the thing, we trust our families with our lives, not our money. That has to just stay in stone like that forever. Here's the thing, if someone needs a co-signer on a loan or for some credit, then that means they didn't do enough research to understand how credit and how finances work. You don't actually need a co-signer all the time, and even if there were something you were applying for that you needed a co-signer for, there are ways to build your credit or repair your credit without getting a co-signer. So you don't need a family member coming to you saying, please co-sign for me. If that's the case, you tell them, do some more research, figure out how credit works, and go that route because you don't need a co-signer for every, time, every little credit thing on this planet. The third thing that you absolutely should never do with your money is take a loan from a 401k. Now, there are times people take loans from their 401ks for interesting little things that they may need along the way. That's a bad idea, first of all, because you're paying yourself back interest that's more than likely going to be less than what the market is going to return. See, how a 401k loan works is you borrow from your 401k, you pay yourself back, which is your 401k, and you pay back with interest. So you're actually paying yourself back. Sounds like a pretty good deal. Here's the thing, most people take money out of their 401k when they've found some kind of financial hardship. If you're someone that's in a very tough spot, maybe you're close to bankruptcy, maybe something's gone horribly wrong, well, a 401k is actually protected from bankruptcy creditors. So if you withdraw money to pay off debts that you're already behind on, chances are you're just taking money away from yourself that these creditors couldn't even touch. Is bankruptcy the right idea for you? It's something you really, really need to consider. But taking a loan from your 401k, you're just hurting yourself, right? It's protected from bankruptcy creditors again, so really, really think you know, twice about that. You know what's not protected from bankruptcy creditors and is our fourth tip of something you should never do with your money? Uh, student loans. I understand if you have to take student loans, but take 10 minutes and figure out how much is this student loan going to cost me. Most importantly, when you're done with school and now you have to start paying on that loan, how much money will you have to pay per month? How long will you have to pay that? Make sure you can handle that because you cannot wipe away student loan debt. Once you take it, you owe it. If you file bankruptcy, they don't care. You still owe it. So be sure that you understand how student loan debt works and make sure you can afford those payments. Do not get behind on your student loan debts. There is almost nothing I can do to help you at that point. 
Well, hey, do you want retirement investing help, someone to manage your retirement investments, but in addition, help with personal finance, like some of the things that we've talked about today? Well, that's Jazz Wealth. That's what we're trying to do. If we can invest your retirement and keep you personally, financially secure, then that means the most to us. We know we'll get you here faster than if you made the mistakes along the way. So feel free to check us out. Leave me a comment if you've actually made any of these mistakes. I have a feeling some of you have, and I hope to talk to you soon. Well, I hope you liked that video, and if so, then there may be another one up there that you're interested in. If you're thinking of opening or transferring a retirement account from somewhere else, click our logo over here, and that'll take you to our website to get started, or you can then click Chat with Jazz, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks for watching, and I hope to talk to you soon.